Thanks for joining us. I'm Louis Tran. First tonight, a Winston-Salem native is officially running for governor. Dale Falwell has been the state's treasurer, but today he officially announced he's taking the next big step. Falwell is running for governor in 2024. However, he'll most likely have to win against Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson to earn the Republican nomination. He says he chose to announce his candidacy today because today is the three year mark when he was diagnosed with COVID-19. My big concerns today is that people have lost confidence in their government. You can see it in the voter registration rolls. The majority of people in our state are not affiliated with any political party. There's no other mathematical way of describing that people have lost confidence. Falwell says that he's going to bring competence when it comes to running the government. And we also talked with Falwell to learn more about his campaign. Bill O'Neill has a story. Falwell is the first Republican to announce his candidacy for governor. He comes into this race with experience in the legislature and as state treasurer. But Falwell readily admits that he is the underdog coming into this race. I've been the underdog all my life. I mean, I'm the least likely person to ever be the keeper of the public purse, given where I started in life. Why run for governor? People are seeing things in our society and our state right now that they never thought they'd see before. And I think for the first time, what people are really looking for is someone to vote for, for, for governor instead of somebody to vote against. What are they seeing that they haven't seen before? Well, they're seeing, you know, an economy that was shut down. They're seeing uh, our public education grades not being up to par. They're seeing their streets and neighborhoods not being as safe as they once thought. The GOP primary for governor could be an all triad affair with Falwell from Winston-Salem versus Greensboro native Mark Robinson. Lieutenant Governor Robinson is considered a likely candidate, but has not formally announced his plans. What would be the biggest difference between yourself and the gentleman you're most likely to face in the primary? Well, you know, nobody ever heard of him a thousand days ago. And uh, people can choose and go to the YouTube and figure out you know, who he is and what he stands for. Robinson has come under fire repeatedly for his comments about the LGBTQ community. His latest attack came last weekend in a Mooresville church. The lieutenant governor criticized churches for flying rainbow flags, calling it a, quote, spit in the face of God Almighty. Falwell has no such history, but does have a track record when it comes to gay rights. Some 20 years ago, you opposed same-sex marriage in this state. Mm -hmm. Do you still feel that way today? I still believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. Would you debate or will you expect to debate the uh, likely Republican challenger? Anywhere, anytime, any place. Republicans that I talk with, who I respect, mm -hmm. tell me that you're the smartest guy in the room but that you don't have a pathway to win this race. I've been underestimated for all of my life. I've never really been anybody's first choice. But what I am is someone who God has given the vision to see what needs to be seen, the humility to listen for what needs to be heard, and the courage to act on what needs to be done. When asked about Donald Trump in the 2020 election, Falwell was less direct in his answers. Do you want to see Donald Trump back in the White House next year? Well, this is what I've said about Donald Trump. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be the Donald Trump endorsed candidate, but I'll also say this. I never asked Donald Trump to be my Valentine. Do you believe that 2020 election was stolen? I don't know. Well, let me clarify that. Okay. I don't know what happened in other states. But again, was 2020 a stolen election? I'm not an expert on that. I just know that, that you, you, none of us are experts. Right. Do you believe it was stolen personally? I don't think the election in North Carolina was stolen for the presidency. Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson has announced a rally in Alamance County next month where he is expected to declare his candidacy for North Carolina governor. In Winston-Salem, Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.